Jalen Brunson has been a non-entity for the Mavericks in the playoffs. Two years ago, he was hurt. Last year, he had a disappointing postseason. Now, he's positioned himself for a big payday. A lot of people around here think that four year 76 to 84 million dollar right. deal something like that and Jalen Brunson said his performance in last year's playoffs sat with him all summer so for example last postseason in the regular season 12.6 points a game postseason eight in the regular season 3.4 rebounds per game in the postseason 2.6 in the regular season, 3.5 assists per game. In the postseason, 1.4. So he absolutely underperformed in the playoffs. So this is third go-around at the playoffs. First one he missed because of injury. Second one he was disappointing in. Now third, even more, probably will be expected of him, yeah. whether it's shorter or whether it's not. But let's say Luka was 100% healthy. Even more is expected of him anyway, because at worst, you view him as, what, your third best player? Yeah, you need him to play like Fred Van Fleet played for the championship for Toronto? Yeah. Like, I mean, that's, that's probably... That's what you need from him. Now you're asking him, I won't say we know... But there's a good possibility Saturday at noon, you're asking Jalen Brunson for 25 points and 10 assists. Yeah. I mean, around that, obviously he can fall short of either of those numbers, but if and he goes for 17 and five, probably without Luca, 40. Okay. 40 minutes. Because uh, Kevin, I, I went back and looked at last year's playoff numbers there and he had 20 minutes in game one, 15 points. All right. Is that... Kind of like what you would expect out of 20 minutes, or do you need? I mean, that's better than I would expect. Okay. And then awesome game two, 17 minutes, nine points. Then game three, 22 minutes, 14 points. And then from there on, it was the minutes got decreased, and the the not seven minutes, seven points. He was seven, not as effective two. as they, they wanted. Might, to I don't just, know the point where they said put Nicholas Batum on him. Yeah, so I, I'm I'm like I do wonder like where what you're expecting out of his minutes, like what you're trying to get. But you just said 25 points. I think 25 points in 40 minutes isn't enough uh, from from Jalen. Like I, I'm gonna need I'm gonna need more, or those assist numbers have to be a lot higher. I, and that's what I think is I think it would be the assist numbers. But that's but that's like Luca is. You know, like he can give you the twenty five and fifteen. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't think I like. I think Brunson giving you twenty five and seven or eight is a hell of a move because now you do have Dinwiddie who can create for himself, and Jalen doesn't have to create for him. But does Jalen still have to create for Dorian? Yes. Yes. Does he have? He does. He has to create yes. for Reggie. Yes, for sure. Okay, they so can't do it don't, without don't a we all. and Dwight. So, like his assist numbers have. To <laughs> <laughs> I mean, especially look at, look at how <laughs> Reggie's over there. Like, what are we doing? I'm, going, I'm having a holdout now. That's look at how great doing. Dwight Powell has been. Yes, Dwight Powell's been never created one. He works his butt off. He he sets good picks. He rolls correctly. All these things. It's all Luca giving him the ball to dunk it or to lay it up. Yeah, and he's done his job. Don't get me wrong, but. If Luca's out, that's Jalen Brunson's job to try to get a guy like Dwight Powell 14 easy points. But he's he's had m this year more opportunity to do that, right? Like that's been like Jason Kidd's given him more leash, given him more opportunity. And I don't know if it's and he's because he's grown as a player too. And I don't, yeah. And well, it, but Rick didn't hate him. Rick loved him. Right. Like Rick was like, man, I went to I, I, Villanova. They're just like he's the best player to ever come through here. And and so. I'm just kind of curious as to why he why he changed so much this year in in, in his confidence and all those things. And maybe we should ask him for sure, I like mean, how that development came along. There's a couple of possibilities. Is just you know uh, the most obvious would be potentially the natural progression of a player. But the other thing goes back to that quote that he said after the end of a disappointing playoffs. His he said that sat with me all summer, and he went. He got two points in game seven. Yeah, that could be it. One that he was three. like, this is not going to cut it. Yeah. You're not like he might have looked at himself and said, you're not good enough. So what are you going to do about it? Yeah. yeah. That's probably Reggie. I mean, uh, Kevin or Corey. I'm thank Corey. you. Got to the third guy. Yeah. Nice. He probably looked at 
uh, his results and how he struggled so much, especially in the closeout games, game six here at home. He had seven points on three of eight shooting, uh, two turnovers, and zero assists in game six here at home. And I just mentioned one of three for two points in game seven. His minutes were limited, but that probably stings you a whole bunch. I mean, as you know, reading that book, we're a loser. That's what that's what Larry Bird said. You know what? When you lose, you know what that makes you? A loser. Yeah. And you know how to change being a loser? Win. And then that makes you a winner. So I love just the complete, hey, it's okay. I'm a loser because we lost. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to be a loser again. So what can I do to become a winner? And I think Jalen took that in the offseason hard. I mean, Look, I hate saying this. Look, I never got close to doing this. Yeah, I wanted to kill myself after bad games. I literally didn't want to go kill myself, but I couldn't sleep, struggled to eat. Like, it, you go through every single pitch again and again that went wrong, and why did it go wrong, and how can I change that? Was it luck? Was it unluck? What, what all these things did my, were we not positioned right? And it really kind of, you know, you're trying to think of all of these things on like, why did it go so wrong and what can I do to change it? Why did I suck? You know, why did I lose the game? And I think Jalen went through all of those things in the offseason. He's really improved his game. It's probably not fair to ask him to go for 25 and 10. Sure. Like, that's not totally his game, but he probably needs to get like 20 and 7, and then anything after that is gravy to give us a chance. Because if Jalen in game one and Luca, if Luca's out, if he gives us 15 and five, that's a good game with Luca. Mm -hmm. But without Luca, we're losing that game. Cause now who are we asking? We're asking for Dinwiddie to go for 35 and eight mm -hmm. at that point. Like, I mean, he's going to have to be, Jalen's arguably going to have to be our best player in game one or the games that Luca can't play. 